I would describe my hair as fierce, fun, bold, courageous, confident. It takes strength to have this hair. Growing up, my grandmother did my hair, and I was always really tender-headed, and it hurt. It really hurt. I don't think I was allowed to scream, but I cried. <laughs> I had a big realization in my early 20s that the decisions I was making about my hair really were coming from an insecurity and really were coming from a lack of self-love. I had relaxed hair down to my shoulders and very, very quickly I made the choice to cut it and started to really embrace my hair for what it was. The coils, the curls, the thickness, the fact that it grows up and not down. <laughs> I sat between my husband's legs, <laughs> like Raif now sits between my legs, and he took a scissor and cut off all my hair. Really, that's what they call now the big chop. And he put little locks in for me. And I let them grow and grow and grow for 10 years, and they ended up growing almost down to my knees. And then, again, very quickly, felt like overnight, I realized that wasn't the right thing for me anymore either. And I sat between my husband's legs again, and he cut off all my locks. And I still have them in the shoebox. <laughs> because it's true. And then I grew it out to this. I come from a generation that still talked about good hair and bad hair. And even though the people who cared for my hair loved me, I still got the message that something was wrong with my hair. Not just because of things I was told, but also because it hurt so much to get it done. It felt like I was being punished, like somehow it was harder for me than it was for other people because of the texture of my hair. I would say to these other parents, figure out what you need to do. Find the products and the way that you can not pass on that experience to your child so that the caring of the hair can be full of love and enjoyment and happy memories and a feeling of self-care as opposed to punishment or this is time you have to make it through. Sit still and hold down your head or it doesn't hurt that much or do I say those things to you? Yeah. <laughs> I know I do! <laughs> I know! He's got strong hair. We use that term a lot growing up. It was really important to me that he love his hair, that he be proud of his curls and coils and that his hair grows up. To the heavens! To the heavens! <laughs> and it's really important to me also that caring for his hair not be a painful, arduous process. That it can be something he'll look back on and remember with fondness this time that we have together. I wanted him to feel proud of his hair, and I also wanted him to know that he could enjoy the process of caring for it.